In 2018, the lifelong love between Masao Matsumoto and his wife Mayako caught everyone's attention. In a movie like Love Story, their romance overcame the challenges of the devastating Second World War and they got married in 1937. 81 years later, the couple was bestowed with the Guinness World Record for being the oldest living married couple in the world. When a journalist asked what the secret to their long marriage was, Mayako replied, it's thanks to my patience, really. Considering today's fast-paced and impatient world, where speed dating is not out of the ordinary, Mayako's number one tip for maintaining a relationship can make anyone lose hope in finding love. Why modern relationships are so fragile. Number one, we crave instant gratification. You are matched with someone on an app and meet them at a bar. You are perhaps having the time of your life when suddenly your device bleeps. You look down, 12 hours remaining, that's the expiry date of your relationship. I'm only describing a scene from an episode of Black Mirror, a science fiction series about a dystopian world ruled by technology. But how different is our reality from this imagined dystopian future? After all, we are already relying on machines and algorithms to find us our future partners. And it's more commonplace than ever thanks to the popularity of online dating. And to make things even quicker, contacting a potential partner is now as easy as swiping right if you see what you like, whether it be their physical appearance or adorable bio. Just a few clever quips and flirty texts later, your coffee date may be all set. But as instant as online dating has become, the romance may fizzle out just as quickly. After all, a strong relationship is built over time, and algorithms and carefully composed introductions are hardly the best test of compatibility. Anyhow, a survey by Esquire found that rather than looking for a long-term commitment, 47% of the respondents admitted to using Tinder solely for hookups. And while it is possible to match with the love of your life online, the popularity of such apps is a reflection of how modern society views romance as just another same-day shipping service. Interestingly, the well-known dating app Tinder now boasts more than 50 million users spread over 190 countries. With such a huge pool of candidates, it's hard to imagine that you will ever run out of options for instantly gratifying your needs, whether to satisfy your loneliness or lust. Number two, we seek excitement. Sometimes we luck out and find someone who seems to be our soulmate, whether it is in high school or on a grinder date. But the initial excitement of getting to know someone and seeing them with rose-tinted glasses soon fades. Strong, long-term bonds are characterized by finding peace in deep silences. However, not everybody is used to the mundane, especially when you receive a virtually unlimited supply of stimuli and dopamine fixes from social media. And the range of possibilities and ease of meeting new and interesting people today may always make people feel there could be something better out there. So, we abandon our relationships for something new and shinier, not knowing whether it is fragile like glass or strong like a diamond. Moreover, social media paints a romanticized version of the perfect relationship. Here, all the great couples seem to be living in perfect harmony, always laughing together and going on magical dates. But of course, every healthy relationship has its share of ups and downs. We often forget that overcoming the hurdles is what makes us stronger and begin comparing our relationships to heavily filtered Instagram couple girls. And instead of looking for solutions and having difficult conversations, our need for instant results may tempt us to take the easier path and say, thank you, next. Number three, we are too individualistic. Society is changing and so is the model of the romantic couple. While romantic love was once understood as the bonding of two people to become a whole, the modern idea is that the two individuals, who are complete in themselves, are the sum parts of a whole. There can be many factors that have led to these changes, including the breaking of gender roles and acceptance of lifestyles, 
other than one which involves a devoted mother, a working father and their children. In fact, marriage itself has now taken a back seat, with marriage rates in the US at their lowest since the government started keeping records in 1867. Perhaps millennials have other priorities like getting a college degree or climbing up that corporate ladder. And it's okay to be too busy for love, with so many other milestones to achieve. Romantic love may not be as important as other priorities. However, hyper-independence and self-reliance may make you more guarded once you meet someone. The practical, calculative and self-preservation skills that help you survive in the tough outside world may be counteractive in a relationship. After all, healthy relationships need you to be vulnerable, trust, compromise and love unconditionally. Number 4. Too little communication. Whether it is a group of friends, a married couple, or a pair of siblings in a room, everyone is usually endlessly scrolling through their phones as long as there is a Wi-Fi connection. And if you ask them, how was your day? You can expect a half-hearted fine. Indeed, you may spend every day with the same person but not know who they are anymore. In between our list of other priorities and everyday chores, we are hardly ever free to spend some quality time with our loved ones. And even when you are free, you may be engrossed in work calls or locked up in a room playing video games. And if you really want quality time, watching movies on Netflix may be your favorite group activity. Ask yourself, what was the last time you sat on a front porch with your best friend and talked about life while eating ice cream? Number 5. Too much communication didn't I just say too little communication? However, the opposite is true too. Let's go back to Masawa and Mayako, who were once the oldest living married couple in the world. Their love blossomed during a war, during which Masawa was sent overseas as a soldier. Perhaps they sent each other longing love letters to keep the spark alive, waiting weeks or months to know each other's whereabouts, waiting years to be in each other's arms. Suppose your significant other is not reverting to your texts. In that case, you could be tempted to double text them, saying, Masao and Mayako communicated and kept their relationship alive through a war by sending long letters, and you are too busy to send a text. So, while instant messaging and social media have made us closer to each other, they have also facilitated our possessive nature. In fact, a study by the Pew Research Center found that 27% of teenagers use social media to keep tabs on their partners. This kind of possessive love can also be attributed to lowered self-esteem, which is often linked with the rise of social media itself. Perhaps the anxiety of them finding another better option may drive you to spend too much time obsessing over who they are following, what they are posting. Or you may even end up confronting them by bombarding them with phone calls or texts all day. Coupled with our need for instant gratification, the anxiety when we don't instantly hear a ping on our phone after sending a message can often turn into clingy and needy behavior. Very possibly, the overwhelmed partner on the receiving end will start feeling suffocated and pull away. Sometimes your SO may chat with you all day on WhatsApp, then snap you, then FaceTime you, then send you a relatable relationship content on Instagram. In the end, there is nothing left to talk about when you meet each other, so you end up staring at your screens. So, as the saying goes, absence really does make the heart grow fonder. But we promise never to leave your side if you subscribe to our channel and stick around or bombard us with your love by hitting that like button.